Hello everyone, welcome to Fallout 4. Today I'm going to talk about power and conduiting and what I've done in particular. Um, as you can see in front of me, I was thinking of putting up these pylons, but then I thought, you know, there's probably a neater way to do this, right? So I was going to just put those all over the island, but then I was reading and I thought, why don't I just use conduit, right? Which I wanted to use for the buildings, but, um, you know, why, why, why do it? Now, now the, the issue, the problem here is I wanted to put this on the ground. I would have really loved to put it on the ground so it's out of the way and hidden and, and not as obvious, but uh, the game would not have let, it would not let me, whatever reason, I try to bury it in the ground and as soon as you bury it in the, in the ground, it wouldn't let me connect. So it was very unfortunate that I couldn't connect this all the way along the ground and I was gonna run it along the road and it, it would have been hidden. So this is what I had to do. I had to put it up in the air anyway, whether it was on the pylons or in those that's in the air, right? So it doesn't look too bad. It's not a deal, but it's okay. So the other thing that you you probably, if you don't know, you can actually run this conduit through walls, which is really cool. So it makes it a lot neater and stuff. And I'll show you what I've done um, with this. Uh, so you can hide some of the stuff if you want. You'll see where it's actually connected. Um, I've actually hidden it in the wall. So it's actually coming through the wall and I've actually run, you can actually see the, the pipes running through the wall a little bit. The, these round corner pieces don't seem to like pipes running through them, so you just have to be kind of wary about those, but not a big deal. But anyway, so you just run it through the wall and I have, I've got a connector here where I just connect it, it up to the top there. Um, yeah, so fairly, fairly neat. Just be careful when you do start the, the initial run that it's straight. What I had to do, I had to redo it because it kind of came came out and came bent and I had to try and straighten up a little bit so you, you might have to re redo do the entire track if you're going to do that right so uh, try to keep it straight and square as much as you can so try and it lines up with the buildings there right so so fairly straightforward um, let me just get rid of these guys uh, since we don't need them anymore uh, for those guys, you can actually, for, for, the, for those that don't know, you can actually store these lines by just hitting B and that'll allow you to actually store the lines uh, back into your inventory. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out. So here, here we go. So what I've done here is I wanted to, I started putting generators all over the place and you get to a point where, you know, let's try and neaten it up. So I'm creating a, a power grid or a power room whatever you want to call it um, and then I'm gonna put take all my generators I don't have enough uh, perks unfortunately for a fusion generator yet but at some point I'll replace all these generators with with a just a single fusion one but for now until I get there uh, you know it's gonna to have to be these ones so I basically took all the generators I had all over my my, my all of the sanctuary or the property and I put them in into this area and I have some down by the water as well. So I'm going to run some additional conduit down there, right? So what I've done here is I've used this connector here, which actually goes straight to the wall, which is nice, keeps it nice and neat. Uh, it's a little tricky. These, these conduits are really a pain um, and they don't always behave like they should. And you have to kind of play around, but stick with it because I think at the end of the day, if you get it right, then you'll be happy with the results. But you kind of have to just keep on doing it until it's right. Uh, the, other, the other important thing, of course, is um, you need to move the wall in most cases uh, for it to work. Sometimes it'll, be, it'll let you put it through the wall, other times it just won't. So move the wall, put your conduit there, and put the wall back. I mean, that's kind of what you have to do. So just grab the wall, put it back, and, and you should be able to put it over the conduit. Um, and it should fit nicely, right? So. Now you can see all my cables connected right through the wall. To the conduit so the other interesting thing is you can connect everything through a single line you don't have to have multiple lines or feeds everything goes through there uh, the other thing i advise you to do is put these connectors these corner pieces on because you can then change them and change the direction and things like that otherwise you might have to actually come and redo it if you put the round curvy ones on instead so try and keep it square um and then you can come replace connectors as you saw i took that four the four, four point junction box and replaced it with a two point uh, so if you want to run into a different direction or you want to do something different, you have that option to do it or maybe you need to straighten up or whatever you need to do, right? So just, just put those on as, uh, to keep it neat and, uh, and give you flexibility down the road. Okay, let's check. So it's nice, pretty nice and square and neat. 
as clear as I could get it, it's not perfect. So yeah, I'm just double checking all my lights are on. I've got my radio tower here. Uh, just one point about the radio tower, I'll, I'll, get, I'll come back to that in a second. Not everything allows you to uh, funnel power out of it, right? So like the radio tower, for instance, I can feed another pylon with it. So uh, if you're gonna run pylons, just look at the radio tower as devices that connect to the power and not necessarily a funnel. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of weird because some of them work like well, like a lamp post for instance you can funnel power so I'm not sure why for whatever reason I tried and I messed around and it just wouldn't allow me to funnel power through these guys right so um, okay so we'll just put these I'm just gonna reconnect these work lights here quick and it just makes it a lot uh, to me I think it makes it a little bit neater I mean you've got a single hole there so these are the guys that wouldn't allow me to funnel power right so whatever reason so I've got that and my decont decontamination arc so for those guys who want to get rid of the the radiation that can decontamination arch is pretty cool so you don't have to go find right away all the way all the time and you can use it to sell it instead and buy stuff um, and I'll, I'll be making a video on just doing doing that and how you can buy to the stuff instead of Instead of using it, so yeah, just create a decontaminated arch. So I might maybe put that even at the entrance would be kind of cool. Make everybody walk to it. Okay, so you can see all my lights at the top here are actually powered off. So I just want to double check my connections. Yeah, I've been messing around with the different lines and and, and moving them around. So you can see my my lights here and my laser turns down. Okay, I'll connect those. And then I need to connect it down to the bottom here, but again, it doesn't allow you to kind of pull cables through a wall, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to put another conduit at the top here. Yeah, it's all, it's all iffy. And yeah, these kind of these curved core walls create a bit of a issue as well. I mean, they look kind of cool, but a bit of pain to deal with. So I'm going to have to get another power conduit right at the top there. I'll connect them and then I'll reconnect them. I had the, I had the conduits with the, the saggy lines a lot of the place and it didn't look neat. So definitely having the straight line just neatens up the whole place, right? I've got generators down by the water and I've got generators by the gate. So what I'm going to ultimately do is move those two to my power grid and then I'm gonna run conduit down to both the water, along the water, and then onto the gate. Is probably what I'll do, or I'll, I'll go to the side. Doesn't really matter which side, where I go. For those guys that haven't done the, the water purifiers down by the water, definitely do that. Uh, it allows you to make a lot of caps, um, and you can use that to barter for bought a, a specific from Carla for copper right so that, that's a, that's a really cool way to get copper is you take all the purified water and you sell it to Carla and you get copper all the copper that she finds and you keep doing it because once you start doing this you need a lot of copper and it's, it's pretty hard to come by other than scavenging it and then even then it's still not enough right so you, you run out pretty quick okay so we'll just connect it there and then we'll connect up the torrent here Okay, and we're back in business and you can see all my lights are back up on everything's on and powered there let me just check the front here okay i can see the street lights are back on and then i have a couple of lights here in the front that are down one just above my basketball hoop here and then there's two in the middle sometimes you just need to move them around and they come back on um, so if they're not working, just kind of pick it up, put it back down and see if it works. Uh, that might actually work for you. Uh, in this case, it's not, it's, it's just not feeding the power. If I move it over here, it's on, it's on there and it's off there, right? So I just got to feed the power and I think the conduits at the top are disconnected. So I'm just going to reconnect those quickly. And then my light on the left side of the door here is not working either. I thought it was this guy just above the door. 
because we've been rewiring here and I've pulled a whole bunch of stuff off to neaten it up. But I think it's at the top there. I'm gonna move this guy in and see if I can do something now, but it's not good. Sometimes it's tricky in the way the buildings are interconnected. Sometimes the lights will work, sometimes they won't. Uh, I don't fully understand it. I watched a few videos on it and, you know, some kind of ideas why they do, don't do work and uh, its a vicinity and location and how far it is and stuff, right? But. And also, there's also a connector called the, the, the radiator that allows you to do, it's kind of more like a, I, I guess it's like a power conduit as well, but the more like a kind of a Wi-Fi connection where, uh, you know, you can just radiate power in a certain small area, but it doesn't really extend very far. Uh, so I don't think it's very powerful, but I'll show you. I've got one, I've got, I've got a few at the gate that I messed around with and it seems to kind of work a little bit. I had to put two instead of one, one should have been enough, but. Work. Okay, so here we go. This guy's actually disconnected here, so I'm just connect him there. I'll probably need to that up a bit later. And there you go. We're back in business. All my lights are back on. So I've just basically replaced all the generators that were sort of in front of this building across the road, moved into the power grid, um, and then I've rewired, got rid of uh, the pylons here, and rewired a whole bunch of stuff. So it looks a whole lot neater than it used to look. I mean, as most of you start off. You guys start off and put generators all over the place and you got freaking generators everywhere, right? Um, and it just looks messy and stuff, right? So, as you can see just to the right here, I've got generators here. So I'm gonna move those down to my power grid later. But let, let me show you what I've done to the front gate here. Um, I'm gonna mess around with some of these neon lights. Um, and my spelling's totally off. This is the first time I've actually put the lights on, first time I've actually seen it light up. So, um, I'm gonna have to fix the spell in there. But let me talk about the radiators here. So these radiators just kind of fit on the ends of this conduit. It, it's a little finicky again. It doesn't like to be put in certain places. You just kind of have to kind of keep at it and move pipes around and keep doing it until you get in the place you want it. So it's really finicky, right? But they do fit in walls and underneath walls and stuff. So you just have to kind of move the wall around and take it off and put it back and stuff, right? I mean, it doesn't seem to like to be at the edge, but Eventually I got it at the edge, but anyway, they kind of set it into a conduit and then I got another one in the front here So the conduit on the left there wouldn't light up the ones in the front um, But they did light up the ones on the side here, so I'll show you those on the side And I don't know where that wall came from. I must have taken it away somewhere and put it back so. I'll just get rid of it It doesn't fit yet. It's not supposed to fit there. I had it open I think I did actually have it. Uh, no, to come. I'll, I'll, I'll come fix it later. I didn't want them to. Uh, the reason I had it back there, I didn't want mutants to to shoot up his G's through 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 the front and out the back, right? So that's why I kind of wanted to block the back walls, right? Now, just so you know, I, I do have a wall right around the sanctuary, but it doesn't really help because. Um, uh, the spawning areas are right inside the sanctuary, right? So unless, <clears throat> unless, uh, just, just, uh, I'll probably make a video on, on the wall, but ultimately it's not going to help anyway. They'll just spawn. They actually spawned right behind me, just to the right here where the house is, and the right the empty lot here. Um, and then they started shooting and attacking all my torrents from behind, so it wasn't very helpful. Okay, so I just want to fix this. The spelling here, yeah, which is atrocious.
I'll show you the lighting here quickly at the back. So the, the radiator on the back wall here yeah, actually power these lights and then I can have lights uh, on my sign there that I wanted. Uh, so those worked. I just don't know why the distance couldn't power the front as well, right? So you kind of just want to be wary of that. And then I have a poster there that uh, I need to power separately. Which it doesn't you actually connect it up. And just in the, in the just the right there, and so I, that's where I have all my water purifiers. So I'll probably run a conduit right down along the wall, into feeding these guys, um, or down the left here, right. There you go. That's kind of the front gate. So there you go, so that's, that's pretty much the basics that I do, uh, conduit's really cool and it keeps it stuff neat, uh, you don't have all these other things, it might actually cost less to actually uh, create because you don't have all these big pylons uh, that use a lot of materials, right, so I hope you found that helpful, I'll probably be making some more videos, so uh, you know, do consider subscribing to the channel and uh, enjoy and, and be safe. Wait there. Just one final thing about um, the siren here. Um, when I got attacked, my sanctuary got attacked by mutants. My my people were all over the place um, shooting at stuff. So the siren actually allows you to call them all into one area, and then you can you can defend them without them being killed. So I had a few settlers being killed at the back and, that, and stuff like that, right? So uh, pretty useful. I haven't used it yet uh, for that reason. Um, but uh, you know, next time I get attacked, I'll definitely be hitting that siren, trying to get them all together, and then I can try and protect them versus them get killed. And obviously, having them all in one area, it'll probably be better to kill the mutants.